Mackenzie now rain hit the central coast overnight hard and it's continuing to fall right now. We're going to go live to morning news reporter Ivania Montez and Ivania you're on the corner of Miramonte and Carrillo here in Santa Barbara where we're already seeing the impacts of this powerful storm. Yeah, Joey, so right now we are on Carrillo Street and there are some barricades that are a few feet ahead of us that have closed down the northbound. So coming down here, they're telling us to be redirected on Miramonte. As you can see behind me, there is a massive tree and it is completely, and I mean completely, just blocking down uh, this road, this lane. Right now this car is going on the opposite direction. But again, as I had mentioned earlier, we want to be or you want to be redirected to Miramonte. And this tree is huge right now behind us as well. There's a truck ready to pick this up as well. But right now the rain seems to have calmed down. But as we know earlier, it was just pouring nonstop. When driving in earlier as well, I saw some lightning. So just be aware of that. You can be out on the street. But right now it seems to have calmed down. Nothing too crazy. But county emergency responders are ready to respond if needed at any point today. And another thing that we're hearing too, that this is a set of back-to-back -back storms and it started last night. The other set is set to come on Sunday. Now, if you're on the roads, the DMV recommends to reduce your speed by five to 10 miles per hour. Keep a distance of 10 feet from the car in front of you and leave 10 minutes before. And as for the county emergency responders, they are ready and alert for the community. Uh, and our incident management team has been aware of the potential of the incoming storms. The estimates for the storm are one to three inches and then three to five inches in the South County Mountains. And then the storm next week, the early estimate is for about twice that amount. Mm -hmm. um, that said, this upcoming storm, we don't expect any major impacts to infrastructure, but we are always ready to respond to an emergency if, if necessary. As of right now, we don't have any flood alerts. However, it is always best to be alert. Now, the second storm is coming next week and is set to be much more severe than the one that is currently happening. And again, right now we are here on Carrillo Street where northbound is closed. They're here to pick and uh, pick up the tree, clean this road. But right now, please reroute to Mira Monte. And if you want more and other ways on how you can keep your loved ones safe as well as your you can head over to readyspc.org to find out anything from flooding to how to even set up sandbags, which we'll touch on later. But for now, live right here on Carrillo Street, I'm Morning News reporter Ivania Montes. Joey, back to you. Thank you very much for that. Ivania will continue to track the storm with you throughout the morning.